Welcome to another free tip of the week brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the new sum ifs function in Excel 2007. Excel has had the sum if function for many versions now. That allows you to sum a range of values if a particular criteria is met. However, sum if only supports one criteria. So in Excel 2007, Microsoft added the sum ifs function that allows multiple criteria. And in this lesson, I'll show you how to use it. Here I have a real simple spreadsheet that has a sales rep, an office, in this case a state, New York or Pennsylvania, and total sales. Now I can add up the total sales down here easily with the sum function equals the sum of, open parentheses, and then just simply highlight my range. In this case, it's C2 to C10, and press Enter. And there are the total sales for all the sales reps and all the offices. Now, let's say I've got a complicated commission structure, and I only want to calculate total sales if the sales are more than 50 for this period. So I'll come over here, and I'll say over 50. That's just my label. And now I'll say equals sum if, open parentheses, my range, same range, comma, and now inside of quotes, I'm going to say greater than or equal to 50. Close my quotes, close the parentheses, and then press enter. Now I get the total of all of these sales if that period is greater than or equal to 50. And you can see here it's only 458. So the sum if did not add in the periods such as this one, that's 45. And if you do the math, yes, that's correct. How about sales for just New York offices? Well, let's put in here NY, just for New York. We're going to use sum if again equals the sum if, open parentheses. What's my range? Well, in this case, I want to look at this range of cells here. Comma, the criteria. Now, I could put New York in quotes, but I've got it right here. So watch this. I'll just click on that, F5 comma. Now there's a third optional parameter. It says sum range. What range do you want to sum up if the criteria is met? Well, this is the sum range. And now I'll press enter. And there we go. The sum for the New York offices is 393. Now sum if is a great function, but it only allows one criteria. That's why in Excel 2007, they added the sum ifs that's plural, ifs, some ifs function that allows multiple criteria. So let's say I want to find all sales for sales rep Todd from New York. All right, so we need two criteria now. I'll add those both here. I'll put in Todd and New York. And now we'll use the sum ifs function to find those matching sales. Equals sum ifs, plural, open parentheses, what's the sum range? The sum range is going to be my range of sales here. Comma, criteria range 1 is going to be the rep. Comma, now it says criteria 1. What's criteria 1? Well, that's the sales rep's name right there, E6. Comma, criteria range 2. Well, we're looking for the office, so that's right here, comma, criteria 2, the office right there. And you can enter in pretty much as many of these criteria as you want. It'll take a bunch of them. When you're done, close the parentheses and press Enter. And now you'll see the total sales for Todd from the New York office is 56. There's only one right there. But I can easily change these by simply updating these cells. I'll type in Pennsylvania, press Enter, and look at that. It's 45, and that is correct. Let's cheat and change some of our data. If I change this to Todd from Pennsylvania, look at that. My calculations over here updated. So as you can see, the new sum ifs function adds extra functionality to sum if by allowing multiple criteria going across in the same row. Now, in addition to some ifs, there are also average ifs and count ifs functions that work pretty much the same as some ifs, 
with a couple of little differences, and I show you how to use these in my full Excel courses. And of course, you can find out more on my website, excellearningzone.com. You can find lots more free tips just like this one and information on my full hour-long Excel courses. YouTube viewers, go to excellearningzone.com slash YouTube and get a huge discount on any of my courses. And you can watch my full Excel 101 course absolutely free of charge. That's excellearningzone.com slash YouTube.